real quickly we're going to do a cool text trick and if you see when I play this you can see that it's going around I can turn on my globe here and you'll see it comes back around we have a 360 we have our text going around our globe in kind of a 3d type effect and it'll go around and it'll come back around here okay pretty pretty simple stuff right so the first thing I'm going to do is turn off my circle there. I'm going to delete my, tech, my text. Okay. Now, I've got a group. Let's go ahead and add some text. Like so. And we can change the size of it, of the text, to about 28. Okay, now we have our text inside of our group. Okay, remember this group is off. Ignore it. No big deal. Okay, make sure your group is 3D. So you want to click this little button here to make sure it's 3D, okay? And, or you can hit Shift-Command-G and it'll change it to 3D. Okay, now that we have our text group, okay, we're going to make our font Arial Black. Okay, make sure it's Arial Black. Well, I guess you could be anything you wanted it to be. It didn't necessarily have to be Arial Black. And make our alignment. Let's come over here. Layout tab. Let's make our alignment center. That will center our text up. Okay. Hit the Escape key if you haven't already typed your message. And then we're going to um, go to the Text Layout pane. And we're going to change the layout method to Path. So we're already in the layout pane. So let's change the layout method to path, like that right there. When we're going to um, set our path shape to circle. So let's go on down here, path shape, circle. Okay, now you can see what we got here. Now, in our text tab, we're going to set our X rotation. But first, I want to set our radius to 170. Okay, so let's go down here under our path shape, radius. 170 like so now that fits it in there just a little bit better now let's go to our properties tab over here and let's set our X position if you turn down the triangle our X position here to minus 18 let's set our Y to minus 10 and let's set our Z to 155 Okay, now let's go down to our rotation, and under the Y rotation, we're going to set it to 82 degrees. And under X, we're going to set it to 63. Now, that's not, not a big deal, because our text is kind of disappearing a little bit. Now, let's go to our text format, right here under our format tab. And let's set our X rotation right under the rotation. Let's set our X rotation right here to minus 90. Now, if you'll notice how our shape, our text is pointed, okay? Now, let's go to our text layout and right click on the path offset, okay? Let's go to layout tab and we'll go down and we'll find path offset, which is right here under radius, okay? Now we're going to right click and select oscillate. Like that right there. Now we're going to change our wave shape to sawtooth. Okay. And we're going to change our amplitude to minus 100. And we're going to change our speed to 6. And now if I play this, you can see that our text is going around in a nice 3D circle. If I turn back on my, my normal circle that I had before, we might have to adjust the scale, but it's going around pretty good, it looks like, as you can see. Let's play, and there it goes. Looks really, really good. And it's that simple. Just mark down those um, values that I've got there, and uh, you'll be able to do this anytime you want. Not a big deal at all. It's up to you to put some variant on the sh shape 
Well, you could use this with the uh, Earth, Sun, and Moon tutorial that I got, you know. If you all have some interesting results, post it as a video response. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've learned something. And uh, we'll see you next time.